All right, guys, here's a quick video on how to load files onto our new 3D software. So I've inserted a USB stick with an in folder. Inside that in folder, I have my project folders. And inside project folders, I have my files that I want to bring in, such as a surface model, which is an XML file, or a DXF file for line work. So with that said, I'll insert my my USB stick into the panel, go to tools, data transfer, and USB sync. I'll say OK, back out, back out again, make sure I'm in the right project. You can change that by clicking here, back out, go to settings, surface so what's new with our our newest release is uh this here so a terrain model is your xml your surface model some people call it a dtm so i'll choose that terrain model here's one of my terrain models i'll hit add and here's another one so i can add it as well so here's my two models i'll actually turn this one on this makes it visible this would make it invisible, so I'll leave it green for visible. I'll page over one time. Note here as well, if you had a centerline file, you could use it. Uh, generally, I'll bring in a, a, a CL file from Carlson and use it for my centerline here. Page over one time. This is where your DXF models come in. You can take a quick preview and see what you have and you'll hit add. You can change some things here if you wanted to uh, just to have certain uh, layers you can do that. One more page over here's your tolerances you can change this to whatever you want. This is basically saying that uh, your upper tolerance is within sixteen hundredths. Same with the lower tolerance. You can back on out back out again and hit grade. What's new also since I have two active surface models I can quickly switch between them so if I go to tools configure models I can quickly change between if this was say a subgrade uh, you can quickly change between models I can turn this one on or off notice what it's doing in the background if I turn this off here just showing you that you can turn on or off surface models. You can also change some settings there if you want to. So it's a neat new feature. All right guys, thank you. Take care.